Mick Fanning leading the race. Mick super motivated. Smooth, polished, class. Well and truly in the box seat for the world title race. Pressure is on Fanning now. Wow. He can clinch the world title. Mick Fanning on a smoker. Mick has done the job. Keeping the world title wow. race alive coming into Pipeline. Wow. Kelly Slater is still in the running into the final event of the season. It's going to come down to Pipe for a big show down there. Pipe's the coliseum of our, of our sport, you know. It's the, the one arena where you want to, you know, prove yourself. And it's always been a bucket list of, event of mine to, to go and win there. Um, and then, you know, to, to be competing against the greatest surfer of all time for a world title is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's to, I look at it as a win-win situation, you know. If, if I win, I've beaten the greatest surfer all time. If I lose, then I've lost the greatest surfer all time, you know, there's no shame in that. I've always wanted to be in a tight race with Kelly. He's got one thing that can, can happen, you know, he's got to win the event. You go into every event wanting to win the event, but, um, you know, you know there's a lot of surfing, a lot of waves to be caught um, between your first heat and the last. So, um, yeah, you know, I was in a position last year where I had to win the Pipe Masters and sometimes it feels like it's a, it's a little bit far away. But for him, you know, he's won so many events over the years that I'm sure even though he's, you know, any sort of shot at Pipeline, he's uh, still extremely dangerous. Kelly makes it. Shoot out on our hands. Over the past few years, I, I haven't really done the, the Triple Crown. I've, uh, you know, just gotten to the end of the year and just felt like I needed a longer break and um, just focused on pipe. And, you know, I sort of felt a little bit underdone, you know, just boards um, and then adapting to the, the powerful Hawaiian waves. Dealing with big waves while you're in event is, um, yeah, it's always, it can be a tricky one, so uh, yeah, you want to tick off all the boxes before you get to the big one. If pipeline's huge, you've, you've got a few things going on through your mind. You've got, firstly, you know, you've got to go and battle your competitor, and then you've got to, you know, make sure you're on the right waves, and then you've got to get over your fear of surfing these huge waves, um, and then the fear of you might get pounded right into the reef. So you just sort of focus on the little things a little bit better, you know. It's, um, you know, you just gotta make sure you make those waves and, um, yeah, it's sort of, sort of more you versus the ocean sort of thing. And uh, I feel like it, oh, how would you put it? I guess it's one of those things where it sort of eliminates some of the other worries as if you were in Brazil, you know, if you got to hassle a guy or, you know, if your board's working, to the dime, you know, when it's big. You take away the competitive element and it's more about survival. <laughs> the first Australian to win the title since Mark Akalupo back in 1999. 2007, everything was like super pinpoint focused and, and um, you know, I was, you know, had really good results, but I also had a couple of wins on the board um, and, yeah, so won the won the world title in the, with an event to go, and then 2009, I, I didn't have the greatest start to the year, and then um, yeah, my back half of the year, just you know, three out of four wins in the last few events was um, was something that uh, yeah, just sort of just propelled me into that position. Um, where this one sort of yeah, it's just been like a, a pretty level, you know, playing field the whole way across, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, I feel pretty relaxed with it all, you know, it's, I haven't really thought about it too much coming into the end, but uh, I'm sure I will over the next few weeks. That's going to be the end of it. One of the biggest Huge upsets upset. of 2013, wow. Federico Marais takes out the 11-time world champ, Kelly Slater, and Nick Fanning smiles for the first time in this heat. Pressure is on Fanning now to see if he can clinch the world title. I guess I'm sort of at a place in my life where, you know, if it happens, amazing. If it doesn't happen, then I'm still happy with where I am. Um, but I guess you sort of start thinking of how much it, your effort and, and um, you know, energy you put into something like that, that it, you know, you're like, oh, well, Maybe I deserve it, maybe I don't, but maybe I'll, you know, it's, it's, for me, it's a good goal to work, work towards. Um, 
So, I don't know, it, it's, it's, it's a hard one. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it all that much. I've sort of just been going into every event, just trying to better myself and, and just be a, um, you know, better competitor or, you know, just improve my surfing and, yeah, and, and now I find myself in this situation. So, I, yeah, I'll just see where it takes me. The Designer, the Billabong Pipe Masters, live on Fuel TV.